gathering biopsies has been historically very difficult, can be harmful to the patients, and cannot be done repeatedly, especially for diseases like uh, colorectal cancer where you know, the disease has spread to the liver and you want to access the liver to understand um, the profile of the tumor. So in, in the last couple of years, my group and many other groups have, um, have been thinking to other approaches to um, profile tumors and specifically to profile genes that are altering tumors. And that um, new opportunity comes from the fact that tumor cells will release DNA into the circulation. And with new technologies then, it's possible to pick up mutations in the blood, which is exactly what we are doing these days. That's the challenge of, of this approach. So um, um, in the circulation, we find the predominant portion of the circulating DNA is, is from normal cells that we release this DNA. But we're looking for the DNA that comes from the tumor. And that's in a very minor percentage, very often below 1%. So that's the difficulty. We need technologies that will pick up these altered genes when they are present in a minor fraction. What are the new technologies? Well, ultimately, we plan to apply uh, full exome analysis to, 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 this, um, to this approach. But right now we are using um, a technology which is called beaming. Uh, th this is a technology that was originally uh, developed at Johns Hopkins by my former group where, where I worked for a number of years. And that is now spreading slowly um, throughout the community. And it's a technology that allows you to detect one, mut one mutant allele in 10,000 normal alleles. So it's a very sensitive technology and it's based on PCR. What we're discussing now is the concept of liquid biopsy. So the possibility to access and interrogate mutations in the blood. There are various barriers to this. One is to have formal proof that you know, what we observe in the blood is mirrors the, the tumor. So that's one barrier. Not, not all the clinicians are convinced, and, and rightly so. We have still have to analyze a number, large number of cases. We reported in Nature last year the initial results in colorectal cancer, and we do see now a very, very reproducibly, for example, KRAS mutations in the blood. But of course, we need large numbers. And, and so this year, we have, we have extended this analysis. We have many, many patients that we have looked. We are very confident this is reproducible. The second barrier uh, will be the possibility of, of using the technology in, in the pathology labs. I think the future liquid biopsy will become a feature of, of anatomy pathology. I mean, uh, the pathological labs will have to access blood and, and, and measure mutations. And the technology will have to be developed so that it can be uh, undertaken by individual groups, which right now is, can only be done in, 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 in small settings. The number of reports that are coming out suggest that there is an a tremendous interest in, in, um, in the liquid biopsy approach. And there are various uh, groups in, in the UK, in the US, in Europe that are tackling this. In the future, what I anticipate is there will be technologies that are fully automated to analyze uh, DNA in the blood. And that will come when, when the market will demand that you know, single pathology lab will need to have these machines. I think this, this will take a few years to, to come. The advantage is, is evident is the fact that you can bi biopsy in, in a liquid fashion your patient virtually every week if you want to. So that's the major advantage. And we see that clinicians are now extremely interested into this and, and we work closely with a number of them. And, and they, they now ask us to, to perform the analysis every 15 days. So you, know, you can imagine that right now you, you would take a, a CT scan or, or, or another type of imaging, possibly months uh, after the initiation of therapy. With this approach, you can follow your patient really closely. More importantly, we believe that the liquid biopsy will capture the entire heterogeneity of the disease. Okay? Imagine a patient that has multiple lesions in the liver or in the lung. Okay? If you perform a single biopsy, you will only see a snapshot of the tumor. We believe that liquid biopsy overcomes this barrier by analyzing the entire tumor burden.